defeat Xavier 72 to 70 in overtime. And uh, we're here with Coach Latricia Trammell and Coach, you, you pulled the milk can escape today. <laughs> we really did. I have to give it uh, to Xavier. They really came in and, and competed and really made us better this evening. We actually needed that. Uh, and proud of our girls though down the stretch of um, getting stops on the defensive end, getting some big rebounds and doing enough to win. Well, thank goodness for Yvonne Neal, especially in the first half. She had 24 points in the game and really offensively was the only thing going in half number one. Talk about her play. I will go back to her too. She needed this. You know, I mean, uh, you know, yesterday she was in foul trouble, had to set a lot. And so I think this really helped with her confidence and she is a really good player. And so I was proud of her this evening. I think we're going to say this a lot throughout the year, but man, Autumn Lau can rebound. She wow. can, and that's one thing that she loves. And I believe she had 17 this evening yep. and 18 points. 18 points and 17 boards. And if you notice there in the end of the stretch, too, she really pulled down some good ones. So she does have a passion for the rebound. About six minutes left in the first half. You guys start to go on a 14-0 run to close out the half. And uh, that, was a, that was a big stretch because you found yourself down 10 points at that right. point, 27 to 17. Going a 14-0 run into the halftime break and take the lead. How big was that stretch? It was. It gave us an opportunity to win here in the end. I think if we didn't do that, it would have been a different story. And so I, I will say that you know we showed that that passion when we needed to, but I, I thought we lacked it in, in certain um, surges of the game. And so we just got to regroup mentally and physically, get back going. And uh, you know, remember, this is only our third game. It was Xavier's what eighth or ninth game, and in Langston's yesterday the same. And so I think we just got to regroup and get ready for conference next week. Obviously, a lot more turnovers than you would be comfortable with with 31. Yes. But uh, you know, is, is that a product of not having played very much, or is that, uh, or is there something else that you attribute that to? What did you tell the team after the after the game about the turnovers? You no, know, honestly, we didn't talk about turnovers after the game. I went in and we all just looked at each other and sat down, and then we, you know, we got excited, obviously. And we really talked about the positives rather than um, what we didn't do. That's for later, early next week, and when we watch film. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm proud of the girls. But there's our areas. Uh, one of our senior captains, right when I turned around and walked in the door, she said, "We have things to work on." And I said, "It's exactly right." So you got to give them credit for that. You guys start conference play coming up this we week. Do. Yeah, we that's, had that's three difficult games, to believe. It? Only three non-conference games, it. and you head into conference play. Uh, what is the, what is the uh, mindset going into conference? How are you going to plan this next week? Uh, get rest this weekend. Uh, come back and start after it on Monday, and, and get ready for um, reaching some of our conference goal, the goals that we've already set for ourselves. And uh, you know, like when we walked in uh, the locker room again uh, this evening, and they said, "This is a wake-up call. We can't take anything for granted." The first possession of the second half, and the forty-second possession in the second half equal value. And so we've got to do a better job of completing those possessions on both ends. Well, all right, Coach, thanks very much. Again, the Stars.